Hi, so for this one, they're giving us a loan of X being repaid. So present value concept for 10 years at an annual effective, and we don't know the level payments. Okay, this would be expanded by P1 minus P to the 10 over I. So they gave us interest paid and principal repaid in the year. So what is the principal paid formula? It's 1 minus V to the N minus T plus 1. And principal repaid is just V to the N minus T plus 1. Now they're saying that the principal paid in the first year is 3600. So I'm going to denote this, the interest paid, sorry, as 1 minus V to the 10 minus 1 plus 1. And I'm going to get V to the 10, which equals to 3600. And then this one is 10 minus 6 plus 1, which is uh, 5, which is going to be VP to the V to 5 for 8, 7, 1. Now, I'm going to, I could, uh, I see a like term, so I could uh, simplify by dividing both terms, right? So I'll do P to the V5 right, and get rid of the P's. Now, to simplify this out, I could do 3600 divided by 4871. I'll get 0.39. Because remember, we're trying to find i, right, to solve what x is. So now I could bring this to the other side, v to the 5. So I have these and these left, so I could form a quadratic equation. So I could move this to the other side, too. And I could also move this to the other side, so I have this quadratic. I could also denote v to the 5 equals x which means that this could equal x squared plus this whole amount times x minus 1. Now I could say a equals to 1, b equals to this huge 0.739 number, and c equals to negative 1. And I could put in the quadratic equation so I could do negative 0.739 dot 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 a whole number plus or minus radical b squared dot 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 minus four a c over two a Right, so I could start with first, I could solve the inside of this, right? I could do 0.739067, where minus 4, 1, so it's going to be 4.54, Right, and then I could do radical 4.54, which is 2.13. Right, plus or minus, so I'm going to do negative 0.3. Minus 0.132186, which is going to be a negative number, so we don't want a minus, so we're going to try adding. So, negative 0.739, 0, 0679 plus 
two point thirteen two one eight. So by adding, we're going to get one point three nine. We're going to divide it by two. And we're going to find out that uh, x equals to 0.69655. Now let's actually solve for i by using this. So I'm going to bring this over by uh, cube, uh, no, uh, five, uh, one fifthing it. So to the one fifth it's going to be 0 0.9302. And I'm going to uh, set expand this a little bit, right, by moving it to the other side. So what I just got for the decimal, it's 0.9. Right, I'm going to move this to the other side. I'm going to do 1 divided by. 0.9302367. I'm going to subtract one to find i. So i is going to be 0 0.07499, right? So once I do that, then I'm able to find what x really equals to here, right? So we found out that 1 minus v to 10 is 3,600. Now we found the i from what we did before. Now we're going to solve to find what x is. So we'll do hundred divided by four. Four nine nine. And we're gonna get forty eight thousand six. So that would mean that this is far out, far out, far out. So the closest answer is D.